on getting that resolved so we figured you know we have a desk we are kind of just waiting here as we'll take a look at the pro view and see exactly what happens as also gives a little bit of time to talk, uh, talk about the drafts of this game or if this game rather because I actually think there's a lot of uh, interesting little moments uh, as I'm like 40 seconds in so he's experiencing an audio issue. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I cannot. So he's... Okay, there's the audio. Uh, 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 he... Uh, he can only hear from his left. And then when he was trying to type pause, he fail flash. That's I think a lot of that comes down to things that are happening elsewhere. Is Gumi Yushi gonna take a lot of damage here, bottom lane? And he's just gonna come over here, put a little bit of extra pressure onto an already half health showmaker who decided not to back. So he's trying to make his choice to teleport home by that first item. And, ooh, that's the Abyssal Dive to come on through as Canyon's taking a lot of damage. He's going to flash out, but Carrier still wants more. The Ignite goes down. That's going to tick for first blood. And the Tom Kench picks it up. It's the roaming Tom Kench. You know, you just never see it coming. And they're holding Showmaker yeah, here. Yeah, going to look for another one. It's okay. Carrier still going to dive on forward as into the Shroud goes Showmaker. But Chaos the, Storm partying uh, underneath. But they are able to force an Akali who's <laughs> already struggling out of lane. Now we're looking for the Canyon rotation. Yeah, that's a Flash Abyssal Dive to try and get him out, but he's on the lead. Does have the Grey Health, he's going to use it as Canyon looking to try and finish that one off, and he does so. They managed to pick up Carrier as Damonkia make it out in that lane, but these plays here from Carrier, right? You you, you basically win no matter what unless you totally botch the execution under turret, because you're even over here pushing the enemy jungler out. Faker has the wave crashing into turret, so minions will be lost, the ignite is good here. And then they see the Karma speed up and walk away, and they decide to stay. We're not going to watch that part of it where they denied more CS. Well, this is, of course, what they, where they get punished, where Canyon returns, comes down here, Keria and Gumisi trying to hold the middle part of the lane after that uh, really nice, I guess, gap that was given there. No else Gumisi. comes up, and unfortunately for Dom here, the response is a little bit late. Rumeka looking for the solo kill. There's the perfect execution. Faker flashes, throws down the Chaos Storm. Out of the difficult early game. Yeah. Here's well, Keria. Yeah, Keria's just going to voyage his way forward, and... Showmaker thought there was a gentleman's agreement. There absolutely oh. is not. This no, it's not like he can abuse the fact that Zayas just ulted, right? He's just now got it back um, and is close to getting his teleport. Is there was a marauding uh, potential duo there. There it is, shown just briefly. Yeah, and Faker's going to look for it. There's the kick flash, and Faker felt like he was in relatively safe distance, and I did too, From but it's not. For quite a lot of okay. time. Taking okay. away CS, as this is a Canyon's first person okay, view. Okay. Taxis from the minion to uh, safeguard into the kick. Talk off it. Basically the maximum amount of range you can get uh, out of a Lee Sin in this Yeah, that was he's doing alright as Showmaker looking for Faker. Faker just looking for a minion wave. Wants this uh, Akali to stop being silly. He's actually going to get stunned up, and so... Yeah, Faker really will miss. It's really a standout. Yeah, their decision making has just been better. Right now, that has equated to just under a 2,000 gold lead, but let's see whether this can be the changes. That knockup was amazing! Canyon's gonna have to get out of there. Shirley does do some work. The flash has to be invested. Yes. It would be fantastic, but he's he's just not there yet, right? He doesn't have a Shadow Flame online. If he did, you know, maybe he could actually force that to happen and they could look to, to win a fight without that ultimate. But Zayas is holding his ground. Yeah, Gumishi in a little bit of trouble taking a bit of damage there from Doc Dom, whose poke is relevant as he starts this one up. Not a lot of lifesteal completed here for Gumiushi, theoretically, as Showmaker standing on a control ward. Zayas checking the flanks nicely. He saw he actually popped the Blast Goon early, understood that flanks are a huge deal. As now Gumiushi actually going to bait them in. Bertle, unfortunately, doesn't have Mist available. He will manage to stay alive for the moment, but manages to wait for that cooldown as well. As the area is not his target. The power of Cannon existing here means it's so difficult for Dom Juan to actually fight and engage because they have to be wary of his angle. And here he is! Yeah, here he goes! Zayas is going to lock down the squishy karma. 
And Darmon Kier could do nothing about it. He throws down an Ignite, but that is all he really gets to do is... Okay, some snips coming down as well as Canyon. Immediately he's gonna get ignited. The Zap comes through, finishes off the kill. Gumiushi gets excited, and now Carrier is trying to run this one down as well. Bertle going down extraordinarily low, and he will be taken out. It's owner that collects that kill, and Darmon Kier... Yeah. Went past the mid turret into red side jungle to try to find a force engage. This could be big. Strong. Well, that's a lot of damage. She like doesn't yield to afterwards. <laughs> okay, is this time to uh, show make as a hero? Well, he's gonna look for it, but it's gonna be the turret, the Baron going down. Doc Dom wanting to find that flank as in goes Showmaker immediately does. This happens so much with these engages into the Jinjel. He's so oh. valuable as Crescent Guard just sits Doc Dom's the turn. Let's just take it in turn. Watching how, you know, the, the Caitlyn first pick, even though the lane didn't work out, T1 were able to play around it and rally around it in the end. Showmaker possibly caught out of position. He's very sneaky though, as he does manage to ult out and Kerry actually gave him um, a way to get out. Super Mega Death Rocket. Oh, we're gonna clear out some vision as Kellen takes so much zap damage. This three item jinx is really scary. Trishop Barrages are landing for a Malmordius done for Dokdam in the Mythicless build that he has decided to go with. As T1 still here, setting up for the Drake, still feeling strong enough and Low can't health really blame him. 7,000 gold is their lead. They can smack him with their wallets. That's going to be the steal from Canyon, though. Gets the kick back onto Owner as well, and they just want to get out. Carrier is going to fall. Has he kept them in position for long enough is the question. The answer is T1 don't care. They're just getting out as Showmaker. Can he find the flank? There's the five-point strike. He backflips through. Gets into the Shroud as well and manages to eliminate to actually Goody. take a fight they want. And this is, again, as you mentioned, no ultimates here. They don't have the cannon ult, so he can't engage. He also does not have flash. So Damwon Kia knows it's a free take if they want it. And if T1 actually put their front line forward to engage, as Keria did, Showmaker rips through the back line. So they have yeah. to eventually back away here. Showmaker does trade one, one more here for one on top of himself, which was, you know, arguably not 100% necessary, but he's just trying to get a little bit more gold into his pocket so he can do it again and again and again as Akali becomes more lethal. Well, Canyon. Canyon could be in trouble. There's the dash cannon. Q going to connect there onto Owner as Showmaker. Let's see whether he can get himself out of this scenario. Does have the Twilight Trout as now Owner decides he doesn't want to fight this one. Not enough members of T1 in the area. Gumiyushi is going to turn up as the Flame Jumpers go down. Showmaker immediately goes gold, but Gumiyushi is still free hitting. Docked arm taking so much, but does manage to get rid of the Jinx. And now Owner pops his stopwatch as well as Bertolt's chasing after him. He's going to snip, snip. Through the Zin Zhao, Faker has to flash, but Bertle does manage to get over that wall as well. Zayas, can you get the stuns down? Bertle, can you kill Faker? And the answer is uh, yes in the end. Yeah, it's like a chipmunk shaped nuclear bomb, like that's the plan. Okay, uh, this is tricky. As, okay, T1. Dom won't have no idea. This is very sneaky. Gumiushi over the wall with the rockets, and Owner is able to tank this one up. Zayas on a flank of Nuff. He's trying to Such act a good as sell. best as possible. Such a good sell from Zayas. Oh, There's not going to know. This. The Baron just goes down, and T1 going to take it right from under the noses of Darmon Kia. The dragon hadn't even spawned yet. Bertle is in that pit. And Showmaker is going to be there as well, but T1, they have no interest. They have no interest in that whatsoever because now they get to Siege, something that their composition really loves doing. Exactly. That's going to be what's going to give you control. T1 are just hoping that Damwon Kia try to turn, try to look for this fight. Showmaker on the angle here. Yeah, dangerous for Faker here because, of course, Showmaker we've seen could be deadly if he manages to catch you on a Wes. Zayas is just hoping that they commit in so he can get a defensive yep. ult. Here we go. He's found him. There's the stopwatch broken immediately by Faker. He does have Chaos Storm down. Super Mega Death Rocket just to make sure. See the vision of T1. Not a whole lot. Canyon still waiting for his opportunity. And here we are. All of T1 grouped up. Faker spots Canyon on the flank and immediately he gets the heck out of there. That's going to be the kickback. And there are multiple flashes all over. But Canyon's is used defensively. He is very scary. You saw Bertle there towards the south of your screen. He's taken a lot, but now this is looking like it's going to be a flip. Let's see whether Zayas can actually get that flash in there as Showmaker comes down. It is going to be the Elder taken by Canyon. His smite hand so strong as in towards this back line they go. Gumiushi starting to pop off and it doesn't matter whether you've got an Elder or if you've got the rocket launcher that this Jinx has. Bertle is going to go into his stasis, but he's still going to die. And Damwon Kia, they get the Elder Drake, but they lose out on the fight.
Yeah, Trisha Barrage not going to find Carrier, and it looks like T1 are done with this game. Maybe they just want to try and end. They have so much turret damage with Faker and Gumiushi here, especially with this Lich Bane build as Faker. Oh my god, so incredibly close. The risk is so high, especially when the enemy team still has Elder. Now, Damwon Kia, that's a lot of teleporting, but this oh, is this T1 is waiting for this minion wave to potentially come on through. Trading Baron for Nexus. It's a mistake some teams have made in the past. You're willing to make this risk, to, or take this risk as T1, because you're up 1-0 in this series, too. They're thinking of going for a flip for it, as now Bertle will try and get out. And the fact that he does escape successfully is huge. But now, Ona trying to stop these backs. The Baron has been stopped. Ona's trying to get over there. Doctom immediately kills him, as now Bertle can he actually stop this? Nexus turret number one goes down. Showmaker loses his entire health bar before he manages to go into his Zonyas and then is going to be taken down. Now the Nexus is back. Gumushi flashes, gets himself out of the way, and T1 secure the 2-0. Oh man, but they made a sweat for it. They will make the toughest call ever. And Ona will, will make it happen here, right? They'll do this cross map play and they'll look for this is the final moment. Yeah, I really imagine, listen to this. Imagine this at MSI. Yeah, right? There's so much intensity. Do you want to know anything of what they're saying, Wolf? Because I don't. I mean, I, I was just I was just like in awe. I was watching to see what Owner was doing on the other side here. And like, the Owner was basically just like, push it, push it, push it while he was stopping their backs. And that was obviously a lot.